drama, people getting DDoS, lawsuit, people getting swatted, drama alert, lawsuit there, channels getting flagged, everyone is suing the drama. What's going on? What's good, guys? Mike is in the building. I thought this might be a great opportunity to touch base and say how thankful I am to be part of the motorcycle park of this community. It's all over the place. We have major issues in the YouTube community and this might not apply directly to us at the very moment, but I can see how this might get trickled down to our community and have a huge impact. We're seeing a lot of the uh, major, major channels going out of their way to flag each other's videos. We're talking about channels that are in the millions here. Wow, this is beautiful. Never been out here before. And these guys are straight up flagging each other or getting people's channels taken down, basically abusing uh, YouTube's term and services by looking through loopholes if anyone is abusing. Ooh, look at that sand on the floor. Jesus. Ugh. Would have been a real bad day right now for a second. If you violate YouTube's terms of condition, they will take down your video and then you get a strike on your channel, meaning they take away some privileges for that specific channel. How does this affect anyone? It affects a big channel greatly because one, it stops the flow of money and these guys cannot monetize their videos. And a lot of them does this as a career and that's how they get paid and pay their bills. So quite a few things happen. And after I think three strikes, YouTube basically delete the channel completely. So this is where we kind of get to the whole point of channels filing defamation lawsuits against each other because they feel like their hard work is being threatened by someone else that is probably jealous or envious or trying to expose what they're doing. Hence, this is why we go back to you might see a lot of videos saying exposing prank channels that are fake, that are influencing uh, that genre the wrong way. And we're seeing so many of that. And people are very fearful of their brand getting tainted, not getting sponsorship or anything to that nature. So this is why we're seeing such a huge, huge backlash in the whole, I am going to sue your ass business. <laughs> And to make matters worse, this is becoming quite a common trend. If you're watching YouTube very closely, you will see that it's becoming very common where these channels are basically going after one another, trying to destroy each other's uh, work or work and effort that's been put in for such a long period of time. Some of these guys at some point had been friends and I guess they had a big falling out and now they're getting law involved in this entire thing, which is really saddening. And I think, let me take this first. And disappointing all at the same time. So many of these guys are doing such malicious things to each other and uh, I find it really amazing that these guys are able to do this. Some of them are swatting each other. What is swatting you might ask? Once you DDoS somebody putting all their personal information out, probably some kid or some 15 year old who might feel like they're a huge fan of yours, they basically send out your information to call the cops and let them know that there's a hostage situation and it's really horrible. You get raided in your home and put in handcuffs. Uh, Semi-automatic weapons get drawn at you. And um, it's really uh, uh, quite a scary thing to be happening. There seems to be a whole new genre out of YouTube sp sprouting out, out of uh, all of the fake channels, all of the uh, fake prank channels. Somebody that's going around going through the pranks and he exposes any of the fake channels, any of the fake prank channels and of course you're gonna get a lot of backlash for that as well once you're once you're messing around with somebody's money when you start seeing like people suing each other over slander over uh, theft of content or uh, basically defaming somebody's brand usually that stuff kind of trickles down to some of the smaller channels and this is why I thought that you know it'd be something 
really awesome to kind of talk about because in the long run, we might start seeing a backlash of that in our part of the community. And I'm super grateful that I don't think these things apply to us, man. You know, everybody's out here having a good time. There is some mutual respect when it comes to moto vloggers, people that work hard on their content, whether you're a big fan of theirs or not. That's one thing that I do love and appreciate about our community, at least this aspect of our community. Everyone thinks to at least, you know, stay in their own lane to some degree. And uh, the reason I don't think it will ever happen on in our side is because that most, the majority, let's be honest here, the majority of the really bigger channels that are closing in on a hundred thousand or on a million, that's what I meant to say, on a million, they're all kind of pretty cool with each other. So no bickering there and they all kind of uh, do group vlogs and they've met each other, they speak with each other and they have mutual respect and understanding. And um, hats off to you guys that do that. And um, I keep things nice and civil. So that's cool. My question to you guys, do you see this happening in the future with the motor vlogging community? All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. And if you're not part of this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, stick around for more dope, dope videos coming up. I'm taking it real easy out here guys because I do not know this road never been here before and uh, I'm trying to make sure I respect this road <laughs>subscribers that the 10,000 sorry not 10 <laughs> that's how much I'll pay your attention to it the 10,000